Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, you know, I'm playing with uh, cameraman Mike's bike still. Seems he has a little problem with it. But I have strict orders that if you're enjoying our videos, please push the subscribe button and please click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time we put up a new video. I've had a lot of people asking me to do late model bikes. I'm doing a couple of quickies on, on Mike's bike and I'm glad to do them, know that, that it's taken care of. And then we'll get back on the old stuff just like we always do. But for right now, we've changed all the, all the fluids in it and the oil filter and all that stuff. And now Mike said his brake lights don't work, so we picked up a new brake light switch. And I'm going to take a couple of minutes here and put it in. It doesn't take long. Now, the rear brake light switch is mounted down on the rear master cylinder. This is a 2008 Dyna. And this is the original switch in the original place. They do go bad in time. You know, I think of this being a real new motorcycle, a 2008. But in reality, it's 11 years old. Anyway, I don't have anything that new. However, we're going to fix it right now. So I started by pulling the brake pedal down a little bit with a bungee cord. And what that does is it keeps a little pressure on so that when I remove this switch, with a little luck, I won't get any air in the line. I said with a little luck. We'll see how well it works. So I have the new switch, and I'm going to take the old switch off, which necessitates taking the wires loose. And here goes one, and here goes his partner. Okay, that one is off, and there we go. Now what I'm going to do, I always say this stuff with a little luck, I'm going to do this or do that. And so, yeah, it's going to take a little luck. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the switch loose. We're going to get it out of here real quick. And with a little luck, there won't be much of a fluid loss. Well, look at that. Here's a gasket. There's the switch. And I just happened to have a couple of new gaskets in stock. So I fixed Mike up with those. There's one on the switch. Here's the other one on the switch. I'm moving quickly on purpose. That's so we won't lose, whoops, so we won't lose very much, if any, fluid. Okay. And look at that. This may be the shortest video in history, I don't know. So what I'm going to do now is tighten the switch into place. And hopefully it won't be leaking, but that looks like a real minimal loss on the fluid. And there is the switch. Nice and solid. And we'll put the wires back on I could say we're all done but I haven't checked it let's see how successful we were take this bungee cord loose from the brake pedal and pump that pedal a couple times and now check make sure we're not leaking doesn't seem to be leaking Nope, no leak. Now we'll turn on the ignition switch and see if the brake light works. Well, there it is. Shock and amazement. That was a real nice, successful little operation. And if I showed something that seemed surprisingly simple, it's because it was. So when you need a brake light switch, you'll know how to do it. 
Uh, the other thing is how to check for a brake light switch. When you push on your brake pedal with your ignition switch on and your brake light doesn't light, you've got a couple of things it could be. It could be a bad bulb. If it's not a bad bulb, then you check the switch. You can take the two wires loose from the switch, put a little jumper wire between the two connections, and if the brake light lights, then the switch is bad and you know to replace it. So that's what we did and it's all done. So until next time, I'll see you out on the road.